Welcome to Brand Lover, honest, real, and lively conversations for flourishing entrepreneurs and budding business owners on a mission to cultivate a heartfelt brand that connects with their purpose-driven mission. My hope is that you walk away feeling inspired and refreshed with a weekly takeaway in your back pocket that you can apply to your life or business. I'm not calling you lazy, not really, but let's be honest. All any business owner wants is to have as much impact as possible with as little effort as possible. It's part of our human nature. It's just how we are. Um, And if you're new to business, you're likely completely swamped with all of the things that go into starting a brand from the ground up. It costs money. It costs time. It even costs sleep, relationships, and fun sometimes for the greater good, of course. And if you're feeling that way right now, I want to give you the red hot tip if you are starting to delve into marketing your brand is that you need a solid foundation for your brand to be able to market effectively. You cannot just create a product or service and then skip the branding part straight to the marketing. The branding is the key to the effectiveness of your marketing. I was on the phone with a potential client the other day and I explained it like this. Your brand is the message. Your marketing is the vehicle transporting that message to your ideal customers. Um, First, you have to know what your message is. Second, you need to know who you're sending the message to and where it's going. And finally, you need to know the most efficient route for the vehicle to deliver the message safely. Does that all make sense? I hope so. (laughs) Um, So let's be real for a minute. So many business owners find themselves overwhelmed by the thought of branding, assuming that it requires endless hours of strategizing and designing, um, and it can. But to begin with, it doesn't necessarily have to be that way if you don't have the know-how or the budget to dedicate to it. So what I want to do for you today is outline the most simple but effective must-have aspects of the brand building process for lazy business owners, (laughs) as in time poor and overwhelmed business owners to create a powerful brand presence with minimal effort. So number one is always this, know your audience and let them know you. One of the most important aspects of branding is understanding your target audience. Who are they? What do they care about? What problems do they need solving? Um, And, you know, what is their perception around their problem? Once you have a clear picture of that audience, you should be able to tailor your brand messaging and visuals to resonate with them most effectively. So what I recommend you do is to grab a coffee or a tea and spend some time getting to know that audience, you know, talk to people, talk to real people who fit into that category or have these, this need that you're feeling, Um, ask them questions, become curious and don't assume that you know everything about them already. So once you've got a handle on who they are and what they're all about, It'll be much easier to speak their language and make a more authentic connection through your brand communications. Number two, um, and important to keep overwhelm at bay, is to keep it simple. There's no need to overcomplicate things, especially in the early stages. Um, Tread carefully and slowly even. So here's the thing. Branding doesn't have to be that, you know, whiz bang all singing, all dancing, complicated thing. Sometimes the more simple it is, the better, um, because your brand message, it should be message, (laughs) should be clear and it should be concise and easy to understand. The easiest way to do this is to keep it real and to keep it simple. Um, So many times I see people using complicated language and words and, you know, jargon um, that they think is impressive, but most often than not, it's just it's not clear enough to the audience what they do or how they help them. All they're doing is they're kind of just making it more confusing for them. And when it comes to your visual brand identity, simplicity is most certainly a very good friend to have. You don't necessarily need a fancy or complicated logo or a rainbow of colors to make a statement in the early stages. Um, So let's have a look at what you need at the minimum for an uh, an effective visual brand um, identity. Certainly a logo, (laughs) obviously, it's the face of your brand. Um, It's quite important. A well-designed logo should be instantly recognizable and work across a variety of platforms and applications. Um, But if you can't afford to invest in a designer at 
at this stage, um, what I'd recommend is to keep that logo super simple to start with and save and prioritize for professional design to minimize um, brand confusion when any upgrades occur in the future. Obviously, you need a color palette. So choosing a simple color palette that reflects the brand's personality and vibe um, is really important. So think about the emotions that you want to evoke and choose colors that resonate with your audience, um, not necessarily just your favorite color. Um, if you listen to this podcast for a while, you know, you know that already. I'm huge on that. Um, but just remember to keep it simple. Um, Obviously, you need some fonts. <laughs> I keep saying obviously. Maybe it's not that obvious. I don't know. Um, but fonts may seem like a tiny detail and might not matter, but they can have a really big impact. So choose um, a couple of fonts that complement each other really well and reflect, you know, how you want to be um, conveying your message. So whether you go for um, like a classic, more classic um, traditional serif type or a more modern, um, clean, streamlined sans serif, just make sure that your fonts are easy to read um, and consistent across all of your brand materials. Um, you know, fonts aren't really that complicated. There's only a, a small number of categories of fonts and most fonts fit into those categories. Um, so just be careful about how you're selecting in that. Um, you don't have to get too fancy, like truly, you don't need that many fonts. Um, and the final thing that you really do need in your visual toolkit is imagery. Um, so whether it's photos, illustrations, graphics, um, you need to just make sure that it's aligned with the rest of your brand. Um, so if you don't have the budget for a comprehensive range of illustrations, elements and icons, uh, at the very least, please do invest in brand photography that aligns with your brand personality and ethos. Keep it cohesive with your brand's aesthetic and message. And if you are going to be using stock photography, um, certainly make sure that you pass it through a filter first. So as in your brand filter. So make sure that the tone is um, consistent across all of your of images and that the color palette is also um, prevalent throughout them. All right. So the third step in the lazy person's guide to branding <laughs> is consistency. Okay. So consistency is really the most important thing because it breeds familiarity and fam familiarity breeds trust. Um, so ensure that your branding elements are consistent across all of your platforms and touch points. And this is why in the early stages, if this is all new to you, to keep it simple um, makes consistency easier. Um, so this not only reinforces your visual brand identity, but it also makes it much easier for customers to recognize and remember your brand. So, you know, when you really think about it, that's the whole point of branding, okay, to become more recognized and familiar um, to your audience. So, whether you've been in business a while and you feel like you've never really focused on your brand or you're at that cusp of really maybe wanting a rebrand or a refresh, um, or you feel like things have got out of hand a little bit, um, these are the things that you need to come back to. Or maybe you're new to business and are feeling just totally stretched for time and money at this stage and you're excited to get out there and start marketing your product or service. Please, 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 please slow down to speed up. Use these condensed steps at the very least have a more strategic intention when it comes to your brand. And if you'd like a little bit more information, a more comprehensive kind of checklist to follow when you are starting out and building your brand, um, I'd love you to download my free branding success blueprint to guide you towards crafting a brand that's not only aligned, but also magnetically appealing to your most ideal customers. So you can grab that at the link below in the show notes. Um, and yeah, thanks for listening to my lazy person's guide to branding. <laughs> If you found this episode inspiring or helpful, I invite you to share the link with another woman in business or someone who needs to hear this message. Every woman we can support to grow a meaningful, profitable brand is another woman who is free to live a purposeful life for herself and be more present for her family. None of us are alone in the challenges we face in business, but the solution can start with a gift from someone else and it could be a podcast episode just like this one. Thank you for listening.